Ooh, okay. Sun keeps going in and out, so. <laughs> like, oh, here we go. Another video. Here we go. Here we go. Hello and welcome. In today's video, I just thought I'd show you some of the products that I recently have uh, purchased and. So most of them I'm still trying to get my thoughts on, but um, very soon will be my monthly favorites and fails. So you'll have that to see how I truly feel about these products. So <laughs> if you like that kind of content, make sure you stay tuned. Welcome. In today's video, like I said, I've made some more purchases. I don't know what's up with me, but anyways, I thought I'd show you some of the products uh, that I've recently purchased and give you some initial thoughts. Most of this will be first impressions uh, and then stay tuned because I will give a further review on these products once I've, ha once I've had enough time to really test them and probably you'll find that in my monthly favorites and fails, which will be coming up very, very soon. So uh, yeah, some of these I've had for a little bit. I'm still test, you know, I've been testing, but um, some of them are newer, so we'll see where they fall in the favorites and fails. But um, yeah, in the next month or two, they'll definitely be in there. So if you like that kind of content, though, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications. Otherwise, just let's get right into the video. All right, so yeah, you know, I'm easily influenced, as I've already said before, but um, yeah, several of these products, uh, Lord May Beauty made me buy. I'm not gonna lie, can't even, can't even front. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, yeah, so I figured I'd just show you some of those products that uh, I've recently purchased because of her, you know, and then some of the other products I've purchased recently. So yeah. So one of the things she made me buy, she recently did a video on like her favorite like taupe shades and those that's like my favorite color of all like for eyeshadows. I like that more cool tone or even a neutral kind of taupey color. That's just yeah, that's like my my favorite color, my favorite shade. So um, she was talking about a few different ones that she has that are her favorites and I actually did find a couple of those and purchased them because again, I love my Toby shades. So the one thing that, which I was surprised I actually did find uh, was the NARS, the Kalahari. Uh, it's a two, like a duo uh, that she showed on her video. Uh, it's cute. It's a nice little, um, I guess I am finding more as I go that, you know, I used to be really, really into like those like foiled metallics, just over the top shadows. I'm finding the preferences have changed a little bit over time. So I am enjoying just a nice, a little bit more subtle, uh, I look um, sometimes I'll do a little bit more metallic you know a little bit like a little bit more shine but um, just for the most part for every day it's perfect but yeah there's a little and I actually found this on Amazon and I'm sure I paid a lot less than I would have if it had just come out I don't know how much this would have cost but I think I paid $17 on Amazon so I'm like okay but yeah it's just a nice and kind of a little bit more warm or rosy taupe color but really pretty has just a nice nice color to it and just very smooth um yeah so i think if you're like me you have a little bit more mature eyes um you know worry about you know little crow's feet there and hooded eyes and that kind of thing and things just emphasizing some of that texture and um creasing then um, i think this type of shadow you'd really really like because it's very very smooth so i was definitely impressed but yeah or maybe beauty maybe buy it so there you go all right, another one she made me buy is the Charlotte Tilbury. I keep hearing her talk about the Exaggerize, uh, this being one of her favorite palettes. So yeah, I picked it up finally. Uh, and then I'm a little disappointed. Like I bought it on Charlotte Tilbury. I think, yeah, I think this is the one I bought directly on Charlotte Tilbury and I bought something else. But yeah, there's the shadows. And they didn't ship one of my items. And then like, so I emailed them just uh, maybe two days ago and I still haven't heard anything back. And then I look, people, like you could have at least warned me I mean, if you were out of stock because it was during their sale that they had recently, the summer sale. Um, so I'm like, yeah, okay, if you ran out of the product, that's one thing, you know, let me know and then give me a refund. But I mean, don't just not ship it. And even on my shipping receipt or whatever, my, you know, my receipt inside the box, it even shows zero. Like they didn't even take, make an effort to, it didn't get sent. They knew it didn't get sent and didn't even notify me and didn't refund me. If the worst case, I mean, like, seriously, like, come on now, your products are not cheap. So I was a little disappointed by that. But anyways, but yeah, so that again is one of the things she made me buy. And I'm a little bit disappointed with Charlotte Tilbury's um, customer service right now. But I guess we'll give them another day and see if they can uh, redeem themselves. 
So when I made that Charlotte Tilbury uh, purchase at Exaggerize, uh, one of the things I ended up getting is this came in a kit. It came with this. It came with the um, cream shadow, which I'm not really crazy about the cream shadows, but it, you know, it was like one of those deals where you know you get all this together. Uh, but yeah, so there's a shadow. There's that one. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, but we'll see. I have to see how it performs. I haven't used or used it yet. And it just says Eyes to Mesmerize. It says Exaggerize is the color. So uh, I didn't even know that was one of the options, but apparently so. But yeah, so we'll see. Again, I haven't used that one yet because it just, did just arrive. But again, that's something Lauren maybe need me buy. And one of the other reasons I got those two together is it was like a trio. Uh, came with one of these. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, Exaggerize. Uh, one of the uh, dual liners like eyeliners uh, and this one is in i think it's a black i believe this one's a black let's see what it says uh, Hollywood. yeah i don't know anyways i think it's a black and then the other end is like a rose gold or something metallic uh so yeah so matte end and a metallic end which i thought would be really pretty for um you know some of the eye looks to really lighten up the eyes there and then a uh, nice black liner. So uh, I did like that. So that's part of the reason I ended up getting the kit because again, you got a little bit of a discount getting all three together. So, but yeah, so that came together. And then the one that was missing, it was an eyeshadow eyeliner, like one of those dual liners. And this is one that Ali Glines has talked about that I was really curious about, but I waited. I uh, finally picked this up and I think it's a dark brown and a like nude color. So I liked it for the waterline. I have used it once so far and it's actually, it's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, so I wanted to get that. And then it came with a trio of lip products, like the lip glosses. And then this has Walk of No Shame refresh rose i think that's what this says and then the other one's pillow talk so it has those and then it came with you know like i said the dual liner and then um it's supposed to come with another eyeshadow palette uh i think eyes something well, i forget what it said anyways but um but yeah but they never even sent the eyeshadow palette and i'm like that's a 53 dollar palette like i mean i got it discounted because it all came together but still like i mean either send something in its place or you know give me a refund of the difference you know like i don't know something but i was definitely disappointed in that but and then with my order since i spent so much um i got a free lip i don't know if it's a lip gloss or a lip oil it's one of those ones you twist 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 so i don't want it because i can't twist it back so but it is called romance kiss so i don't know but we'll try it we'll see but yeah so that was a charlotte tilbury order that i placed because of lauren may beauty that was Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> she made me buy. I'm like, uh, it's the Celestial Pearl. I finally found this one. It was hard to find, but I did find it. And it was like, I think last year's uh, holiday palette or whatever, limited edition. I was able to come across it though. And so I'm excited to use that because again, this one that she talks about a lot. So it's like, we'll see. Okay. All right. Another thing <laughs> she made me buy is this really expensive Shantikai shadow. And I think I might have talked about this before. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a really pretty shadow, but I cannot say that I would recommend paying 80 some dollars for it. So, but it's, it is pretty and I have used it as a blush topper like she does. I have used it as an eyeshadow as well, like eyeshadow topper kind of. It's pretty. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty, but it's expensive. So, you know, I also made a ColourPop order as well. And uh, some of this was influenced by her, but while I was there, I saw that they were having a sale. So I was like, ooh, let me, let me pick out some other things too. So I ended up getting a quad Gata Agate. I think Gata Agata, I don't know how you say it, but anyways, but it's really pretty. And it's a very nice, like almost like plum color. Uh, but yeah, the metallics are really, really nice. It is deep. So I mean, you're going to get mostly a deeper look with it, but it's really pretty. Uh, but I mixed and matched it with another eyeshadow, I think as well. And uh, really, really pretty. Really glad I picked that one up. And again, I think I got that maybe for $4 or $6, something like that. And then uh, while I placed that order, I did also, which I showed in, I don't know if it'll go up before this one or after, but my fall, like summer into fall uh, transition eyeshadow palette video, I um, showed this palette, the ColourPop Clay It Cool. I almost like, I'm like, that does not sound right. Anyways, but this palette is really, really pretty. And again, it's one of those ones that has like the cream shadow, Let's see, does this one have two creams or just one? Okay, yeah, it's just one. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, it has one cream shadow and then, but I love the tones in this. It's really, really pretty. And the metallic shades in here are really nice. They're really, really pretty. So uh, that was in that video. So again, it'll either be, be probably be coming for this one, but if not, um, definitely wait and check that one out. So, and then when I got that order, I also got some like super shock. So I got some super shock highlighters. I got Felicity, which my fault, but I didn't really pay attention to the fact that it says it's glitter. So it does have some glitter in there, but if you don't mind glitter, um, it's pretty, uh, yeah, so. And then I got the Sounds Grape uh, blush, and I, this is a Lauren May. Uh, but yeah, it's really pretty. These are actually very pigmented, very nice. And then I got the Tinkerbell Happy Thoughts uh, Super Shock Highlighter that she's talked about, and I think she said this was uh, similar to one of the Pat McGrath. So I've got that. And then I also picked up the Tinkerbell Darling blush. This one's really pretty. I thought this would be really pretty for fall. It has kind of a, I don't know, burnt red orange tone to it. It's really, really pretty, like a warm tone. And then I got one other one called At First Blush. And again, all these were on sale, so that's why I picked them up. This one's definitely a little bit more like a metallic, so it's definitely gonna give a little bit more of radiance, uh, but a really pretty color, really pretty. So I'm happy with that order I placed for sure. Uh, another thing I think I forgot to show, uh, when I made a my last purchase through BK Beauty and picked up the uh, True Beauty eyeshadow palette, I did pick up some of the lipsticks because they were having a sale on those as well. So I got two of them. I got Self Love, which I think is the one I've actually worn more. It's really pretty. Uh, maybe I'll show you here. I don't know. I don't know if I want to swatch because it's such a mess right now. But yeah, there's that one. And then the other one, which I didn't realize, I think I actually like this color more, is called Acceptance. But yeah, this is a little bit more like a cooler tone, mauve color. Yeah, but that's those two. And they're really nice. They're very, very comfortable to wear. Uh, I mean, they don't have as much lasting power, but they are very comfortable, very nice. Uh, so I would recommend trying them out. And I was gonna get the lip liner, but the one I wanted, the shade I wanted was out of stock. So I just got the lipsticks, but so far I'm happy with them so another thing Lauren May Beauty made me buy is I've got some touching I think it's touching soul is that how you say it uh some of the sparkling foiled pigments uh she had talked about the one in some type of taupe color let me see if I can find the one Oh, Aurora Taupe is the one that she talked about. I'm not going to open them all because they did all come a little bit broken up, which I wasn't concerned about because I know they're a very, very soft formula. So I kind of assumed they would be. But they're, I mean, they're intact enough in there. Nothing came like broken or that, you know, that was making a mess. But um, it was actually a pack of six of them. So I got all six on like a discount. Uh, so yeah, so I got those and can't wait to try them out. But I know she's talked about that taupe one as being one of her favorite colors. So we shall see if it lives up to the hype. All right, I did buy some of these Benefit, the new blushes that they came out, the Wanderlust, I think is how they're, what they're called. Uh, but I do now have actually five shades. I already had Pom Pom, which is a really pretty color. It's like a pomegranate rosy color, I think they describe it as. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like that one. I, that one I got like the full size and these are all just the minis. But I have Shelly, which is like a peachy pink color. Really like this one, that's really, really pretty. Um, Peachin is a little bit more dull and uh, definitely would be better on someone with a lighter skin tone. It doesn't show up all that well on me. I have to really build it up, but I mean, this, it's not bad. It's just, it's a little bit too light for my skin tone. Um, I got Terra, which I really, really like. It's more of that like kind of bronzy rose color. Really, really pretty. That is definitely one of my favorites. And then I got Krista, which is a very bright, like look at that, how bright that is. But it's actually really pretty as well. So I think Pom Pom is still probably my favorite as far as like one that I would use the most. Uh, but I do really like those blushes. So, and I'm glad they have them in minis as well as the full size. Cause again, with all the blushes I have, I'll never go through those. So that was like perfect for me. So, but yeah, so far so good. All right, so I made an ultra purchase and like with purchase, you got like a free gift, a little gift bag of some sort of stuff. So I will show you that in a minute. But um, per like Jessica Bronze, you know, recommendation. I got the Everyday Faves uh, eyeshadow palette. I think this is one I've seen her talk about most often. Just a nice, you know, everyday neutral palette. And it actually is really, really nice. These shades are very, very smooth. 
Uh, they're well pigmented. They last a good amount of time. Um, they check all the boxes. So I'm actually uh, impressed with these. So, and then I have the Blush and Blooms, which is uh, of course a little bit more like mauvey, rosy tone. Uh, yeah, so really, really pretty, but I love these cooler tones. I'm really into cool tones. So i uh, excited to use this one. I haven't used this one yet. I've used the neutral one, the Everyday Faves. I've used that one so far. I really like it. This one I'm still waiting to use, so I'll give my further thoughts when I do. But so far, so good. I recommend. And then this was a little free kit that came with it. It was like a nine piece kit, but it was kind of nice. Comes with a little like their version of a magic eraser. So have that. It came with its own little eyeshadow palette, which I was like, oh, okay. I uh, haven't used this yet. I mean, it's just a very basic eyeshadow palette. So hopefully the formula is as good as their other palettes, but we'll see. Uh, came with a blush highlighter on. This is okay. I don't think it's anything great. I mean, it's barely average <laughs> so but again it was free so yeah that's all right um came with a lipstick which i think will be really pretty for fall i think it's called raisin if i remember correctly yeah um, but it's a little bit deeper tone but i think that'll be really really pretty for fall so we'll see how that works for fall and then it came with um, some other things a matte eye primer a matte uh, face primer and then sorry i'm almost dropping stuff here and they're all you know of course all ulta products but a uh, little I think it's one of their tinted yeah tinted juice infused lip oil uh, I think this one let's see if it tells the color yeah I don't see the color on here so sorry not sure what color it is but um, and then it came with a brow gel just a clear brow gel uh, and then a mascara the lash flash warm water wash off mascara so I don't know if that means it's a tubing mascara. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, so I haven't used um, any of those products. I just kind of swatched the blush and highlighter. I wasn't, you know, at all impressed with that. But it's okay. Like I said, it's free. So, but yeah, that was with my purchase. And then I also picked up, which I think I might have shown before, the Pretty Fresh. Uh, I think I might have gotten a little bit too dark of a color though because I was kind of between light six and light eight I didn't know which one to choose but I think this is light eight I think this might have been a little bit too dark um, and I'm still on the fence of this one so I'll give you further thoughts in my uh, reviews the favorites and fails for the month so stay tuned for that because I do have another one to compare it to I talked about recently I think this was also my fall video uh, my fall palettes uh, these little Sephora pocket palettes. I've been really enjoying these. Um, I did notice, I did compare these to a couple of other pocket palettes I have. They have become a little bit smaller, a little bit more condensed, but that's okay. I mean, it's, you know, size is fine for me like this, but I have four of them here. I have the Noon Lights palette uh, and these first, I think I've used all of these so far, but so, I mean, I'm have enjoyed them but yeah this color story it's kind of light but it's really really pretty these uh metallics are really really pretty metallic satin shades i like those uh and then the other one that i really like which is another like cooler toned uh this is the first lights palette again it has a little bit deeper shades in there but yeah another cool tone palette the metallic satin shades are really really nice really like that one and then like the two that i suggested for fall are these two? I have the Warm Dusk and I have Golden Hour. Uh, these are really, really nice for fall, but these definitely have some deeper warm tones, of course. And then this one as well. But yeah, this one I think is really pretty. But yeah, and like I said in that video too, it looks like they actually pop out, like you can move these around. So I was uh, impressed with that. So for Sephora, I'm like, okay, Sephora, I see you. All right, and I also saw, I don't know, in some thread or whatever, KVD Beauty. Uh, their second eyeshadow palette, uh, let's see, I don't know if it's the second, but it's called Planet Fanatic Fully Recyclable Wet Dry Eyeshadow Palette. I did pick that up from KVD Beauty, their site directly, because uh, I was, you know, signing up, I was able to get a discount. Uh, plus it was on sale, so this was half off. I think it was $22 or $23, whatever the half price was. Um, but I'm uh, excited to try this, because I didn't try the other one, so I'm curious with the formula how they work and I have like a mixing medium that I'd be really interested to try that with and see if I can get a really pretty like metallic, you know, foiled look with them, like a wet shadow look. So we'll see, but I'm, uh, you know, excited to try that. But what I did with that is I did see their, uh, their lip products were on sale as well. 
So I ended up getting two lipsticks. Uh, so I don't know if these are being discontinued or the um, formula's changing, but I have the original Lolita, which it was really hard to tell the colors online. So it looks pretty dark, but I'm hoping for fall that I actually end up being a really pretty color. And then I got the OG Lolita. So I guess maybe that was the original, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so that one's a little bit lighter in color, really pretty, uh, but we'll have to see. I haven't tried I haven't tried their lipsticks, so curious with that. And then it came with a little uh, kit. I think this, I can't remember if this came as a kit like that I paid for. There was one that was like a free gift. Oh, that's what it was, okay. Um, I got this tattoo liner as a free gift and it's uh, Mad Max Brown. So anxious to try that because I have been doing actually more liquid liners now lately um, just because I'm having such trouble with transfer uh, and smudging with regular eyeliners like pencil liners. So I just haven't had one or found one that I really like as much as the Marc Jacob one. So uh, anyways, and then these are both in Lolita but just two different type like formulas of their uh, Lolita. So apparently that was a real popular one. <laughs> so, but I bought those and so, oh yeah. And here's another one too. That's right. Okay. And then one of these was a gift as well with purchase, but I can't remember which one. Uh, and then this one's in Ludwig. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, so anxious to try those, see how those work. And then I also picked up a Sephora lipstick. I guess, I think it's a new formula. It's her satin. Uh, so this came with that Sephora order as well, which I forgot to uh, mention with that. But I ended up getting the Sephora order, the Sephora palettes they had them. It was kind of that buy more, get more, um, or you know, save more or whatever. So I ended up picking up five products. Anything over four products was 20% off. So I ended up getting the lipstick and the four palettes, 20% off. So, so that worked out. And it's a really pretty color too. It's in shade seven, which I don't remember what that is, but it's a, it's a really pretty color. I know it's like a pinky nude, I'm sure, because that's what I like. Then I also picked up a couple, they were having a lipstick, like the National Lipstick Day or whatever during that week. They were doing some sales at uh, on Ulta and Sephora and some other places. So I ended up picking up a couple more of the L'Oreal lipsticks. I got the new impertinent. I got that shade. And apparently this is the one that's supposed to be a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, but I've already done a dupe with that. And I would say the one I did from, uh, I think it was Revlon is definitely closer uh, than this. I don't think that was as close. I don't know who had that idea that it was a dupe, but, and this one's called toasted almonds. They're um, similar, but they're actually just like different, uh, out of different lines. So, but they're, they're similar, they're similar. And then I bought a new uh, Maybelline Lifter Gloss, cause again, these were all on sale during that time. And this is in the shade Sun, which I probably was, thought was a pretty like kind of metallic, you know, like had a lot of nice sheen to it. So I thought that'd be really pretty, nice neutral color. So, uh, and then I ended up getting this little e.l.f. I wanted to try one of their lip stains. So I got this one in the pink color. I think it's like soft pink maybe or something like that. I can't read it, sorry, I'll have to list it. I <laughs> can't read the writing. Uh, but anyways, got that. And then one thing I did pick up that I wanted to try and I'm actually wearing it now. I'm kind of getting some thoughts on it, but the new Urban Decay, I think these are some kind of like lip stain as well or whatever, but this one is in the color Safe Word. Uh, but yeah, it's their new formula. Packaging's really pretty. Uh, it feels really nice when it first goes on, but it does kind of dry down and starts to feel a little bit like sticky and not as comfortable as it dries down. And I don't really like the shades. I wish they had more shades. I just found that I couldn't really find like the color that I like, that pinky nude color. This was a little bit more of like a beigey nude color. Um, it's okay, I just don't know how I feel about it just yet. I also did pick up the uh, Essence Hello Good Stuff, the one that's supposed to be a dupe for uh, Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow. So I'm you know interested to try that and see what I think. I also picked up Melania's supercharged brightening, you know, under eye tint. I picked up the color pink to go under and sorry if I talked about this one before, but so far so good. I do like that. It's very, very thin, lightweight, a little bit goes a long way. And the other one I had, I had a peach color, but I wanted to try the pink one because I thought it'd be a little bit more appropriate for like the color tone discoloration that I'm trying to fix. So yeah, we'll see. Also picked up some e.l.f. Luminous Putty blushes. I'm really liking these. I didn't like the original formula of the putty blush, but I really like these luminous ones. So I have Isla Del Sol, which is a really, really pretty bright, like kind of coral color, like orangey coral. I'm like, oh, that's really pretty though. Um, I got, I think this one, Bermuda, which is just a nice everyday kind of rosy, pinky, nude color. 
Um, and then this one is a little bit more cool toned actually, Maui. Uh, really neutral, but a nice everyday. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying these. So for the price, I think they really compare to a lot of the higher end. So I definitely recommend. I also picked up something from Dominique Cosmetics. I saw that they were having a sale. And again, Laura May Beauty keeps talking about these, uh, their cream blushes. So I did finally pick up one. And this one is a natural rose, which was just a color that seemed like more of my everyday that I would wear. It's really nice. I am wearing it today. So far, I really like it. Uh, and then I picked up the Transition Palette, her eyeshadow palette, the newer one. Um, on the fence about this one. Uh, I haven't had the greatest of luck. A little bit patchy, took a little bit of blending and kind of, you know, just not the easiest formula I've ever worked with. So I don't know, but I'll give you my further thoughts in the, the roundup, the monthly roundup. So we'll see. Also just picked up some new Adept Cosmetics, the Amune palette, and this is in the dark. I couldn't remember if I had this palette or not, but I just love the color story. And I was like, you know, let me try the dark one just in case that at least have some different shadows. So if it is similar, that at least I have, it's a little bit different. And I got the House of L, because this is one of the palettes I don't have. It's very bright, but I was like, there was just something about it. The swatches, I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Some of those tones, I was like, wow, that's really unique. So I did get that, still testing that out. And then I got Sugar Drizzle, the Sugar Dreams palette. This one, it was just, I uh, saw these colors, I thought that is so pretty. It was like pastel-y kind of colors. And then I just, I really enjoy, have enjoyed their formula, what I've gotten so far. So this just arrived, so I haven't even had a chance to play with that yet, but I'll give you my thoughts on that. Uh, Rare Beauty, I picked up another lip liner. This is a little bit darker shade in, I think it's called Wise. Yeah, Wise. Um, so I figured for like those darker, you know, like more fall lip colors, thought that'd be really, really pretty. Uh, and then I picked up some more of these LA Girl Shockwave lip liners because again, they were having a sale with LA Girl and some of the other brands. And so I picked up a few of these. And then this one is in Mauve. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. And I really like these. They are really, really nice. I picked up an LA Girl Sunkissed Glow Shadow Stick as well. Uh, again, it was like one of those, like buy so many, get something. And so I had to pick like another item <laughs> to make it work. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty. I haven't tried it yet again. Most of this just arrived recently. So I haven't had a chance to play or I've just had so much stuff. I haven't like gotten to it yet. Uh, picked up another Essence. I know I did a dupes video talking about the Essence liner. Uh, this is the one in Legendary. Yeah, I thought that'd be a really, really nice color for the type of lip colors I do. So uh, I did pick up this Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, liquid eyeliner in the chocolate shade, so brown. So I am curious, I wanna try that out because I do like usually brown eyeliners better than like, you know, black per se. But so I wanna at least try that out and see how I feel about them. Um, also picked up a bunch of these, which I'm like, hit myself now because I'm like, uh, if I would have only looked and paid attention, I would have known I already have most of these colors. But the LA Girl, these are the perfect precision lip liners, the pencil liners. Uh, but I got these all for like $1.50 each, I think, is what I ended up paying for them. So I'm not too disappointed. But um, the shades I already had, I have Bare, which yeah, is one I already had. Uh, blushing, I already had. Um, sugar and Spice, I already had. Uh, cafe I already had the only one I didn't have is chocolate uh, which is again one but I don't know what happened I think it melted in route because like the tip is all messed up but I mean it still works but yeah so I got that for like that ombre that darker lip color like effect uh, and then again some more of those uh, the shockwave ones I got rosewood I got Chai Latte, which is a little bit darker, and then Sandstorm, which is definitely the one that I've been using the most. Uh, but Sandstorm is just a really nice, just everyday nude, uh, especially for me. So yeah, it's a little bit lighter, but yeah. And then, um, which I think I showed my, my Linda Hallberg order. I got two eyeshadow palettes, the Shimmer, 
lights one or whatever it's called which is the more recent one the little quad that she came out with but um it was like a it was a bundle so it came with two liners so i got a white one so if you and they show you different ways to like make the eye looks pop and change so if you want a brighter look you know what i mean um use the white liner and kind of like you know basically as like a primer an eye primer base and then there's a black one so then again, it, but it's really cool how it looked and how it changed the whole look of like the shadow over top. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like you don't really think about the base, you know what I mean? Like, or at least I don't. So, but yeah, so I'm interested to try those out and see how it does change the look. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I think, oh, the only other thing I wanted to show you here, just kind of out of the regular box here, like um, I did pick up some Bath & Body Works candles. And I don't know why I thought I talked about these before, but then I looked and I don't remember seeing them on my video. So I picked up coffee and whiskey. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is it. I love this candle, so I cannot wait to burn this one. So this is like one of my favorite scents. The other favorite is leather and brandy. I got this because I really thought it would be remind me of like Tom Ford, the ombre leather scent that I like so much. Kind of does, but a little bit different, you know what I mean? But oh my gosh, love that scent too. And then these are all, I think from the White Barn. Yeah, these are all White Barn, but I even love just the look of the candles. Like the, they're just so pretty. I love this like kind of matte, um, just very, you know, like fall look candle. Um, this is Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli, which is actually really nice too. Really like that one too, but definitely a different vibe than the other one. And then the other one, the last one I got is Hinoki Wood and Lavender. Probably my least favorite of all of them, but it does have, it's a nice clean scent. Uh, but yeah, probably is my least favorite of the four, but still not bad. But I think that coffee and whiskey one is gonna be my favorite. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you those real quick too. And then um, Item Beauty, I got uh, Hey High Halo, the liquid um, highlighter. Uh, it's not, anything special but what I have been doing and enjoying is mixing this with my liquid blushes and I really like the effect that has given so I have been able to find a way to use it and probably not my favorite like liquid highlighter I don't think it's anything special but mixing it that way has really really made it work also just a quick update ambient um soft glow foundation by hourglass i did pick up a different shade the shade i had i found it was okay when i had a nice tan for my vacation but as the tan has faded and my true you know paleness has come through um i was like ooh, that looks really dark like you know it just definitely didn't match so i ended up getting a lighter color so i'm gonna test this out and see what i think i like the formula though it's just the color was just ooh. and then i mean i know i could mix it in with another foundation that's lighter but the problem or what i worry about is that um, you know, number one, some of my lighter foundations are older, uh, but also the formula is different. So I was concerned that it would change the formula itself because I really do like the formula. So I didn't want to change it. I want to make it more matte. I didn't want to thicken it by, you know, putting it with some other foundation that's a little bit thicker and heavier, you know? So, but yeah, so we're going to try that color and see how it looks. And then if it does end up being a little too light, the good thing is I can mix it with the darker one and then make my own shade, make it work one way or another. So last thing I forgot to, almost forgot to mention was Armani, Giorgio Armani. I went on their website and I'm getting some lipsticks because they were discounted and I think they were like half off. So um, I did get one just like neutral tone that I thought would work really well for me. And this is in 102, I can't remember the actual color, but just like a pinky nude color, like my favorite color. So I figured that would be, that would really work. And this is in their matte formula, I think. So I don't know if these are being discontinued. And then I got two red shades because again, I do want to venture out and try reds, but I'm just so nervous about it. But these were, I looked up like a video, like the best reds, you know. Uh, and then this 400 was like, you know, one of the staple ones they talked about. And then this other one I got in 403, which is a little bit lighter, but a little bit more warm tone, like a little bit more orangey. Uh, so I wanted to see how, which, you know, which color I like better on me. So I did get those as well. So I think that finally rounds it up. That's all I can find to talk about. It's just enough as it is. So if you did enjoy this video though, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if there's any other products you've found recently, maybe that you want me to try and give you my thoughts on, but yeah. Otherwise though, uh, have a wonderful day and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Sun keeps going in and out, so <laughs> like, sorry I'm a little, 
cloudy. A little cloudy, yeah. A little. I've got a little bit of a. What am I trying to say? Not shady. Anyways, whatever I can't think. Um, oh wait, I'm missing one of my shadows. Hmm. Just oh, there it is. Okay. It was an eye trio, uh, or no, it was two eye. You know, clay. The new imper impertinent impertinent. So I think. Um, yeah, you know, the, the, oh, and then the very last thing I forgot to mention, last thing, Whew. okay, I'm trying, uh, it's just a lot of stuff.